Hi guys, welcome. This is Marco again and today I am um, gonna have some uh, interesting um, tips for the BlackBerry Passport. Uh, so what I like to talk today is about uh, the battery, you know, the power of your phone, which is one of the main important things that we need to care in these days you know because using the phone all day it drained the battery but in our case since the blackberry passport is not optimized for the um, android apps it drain a little faster the battery so sometimes if you basically have internet on on your phone and you use uh, facebook whatsapp um, and you you know you browse the internet you surf the, the the web you're not gonna have that much um, battery life uh, after I would say half day because my experience when I use most of my daily apps which is WhatsApp I open sometimes Facebook I sometimes check Instagram and I do a lot of web research I will say my battery from 100 goes down to 20% even in 4 or 5 hours which is not a good thing because you need to perform your phone all day and uh, if you work and if you use the map to move around the city that's gonna be a mess you always need to have your phone plug it and uh, have like a maybe you know a bank charge with you so um, what we are talking about today <coughs> is tips suggestions, little tricks that you can use to optimize the passport battery life performance and uh, get by the end of the day if it's not even like two days because I test in this way I would say that my phone can last two days of course it depends the needs of the day of uh, internet connection so the first thing that I want to talk about is like three apps uh, that helps to uh, improve the life battery by itself. So those apps are right here. Okay, the first one is called a battery. So battery is an app that I downloaded from a BlackBerry World. And battery basically what does is uh, an app that monitor your uh, your phone so when the phone is charging this page right here is gonna tell you how many hours see your phone can last in this condition so if you have an internet on or whatever you have on right now if you don't touch your phone you have a four hours and your phone is gonna be basically like done because I have internet and everything on um, also you can check the temperature of your phone which is important to see if, if your phone is going uh, too high, too hot or not, so Fahrenheit and Celsius, the voltage, the health, so the cycle basically that you are uh, doing on charging, the usage is right here, and of course in on the settings you can uh, uh, I have a, like uh, the alert of the full charge and the notification so basically this this app you turn it on whenever you charge your phone I always have this on because also it give me like the the, the sound the beep then my phone is like a hundred percent and then I have the beep for uh, like uh, when the phone uh, is charged for the full cycle so battery from the Blackberry world is an app that you want to use every time you just plug your cord you just open automatically and then monitor like your battery so that's a good app and uh, I suggest you guys to have it because it's essential you have on your battery the second one is called a cleaner cleaner same thing from Blackberry world this is kind of like a, a cleaner and a boost at the same time so see you can boost your memory right here so you optimize your battery, see, it free the RAM for about a gigabyte, so you're gonna, your phone go faster. You can clean the cache of your phone here. 
beautiful. And of course you have like a, the disc usage right here and you have uh, the uh, meter so similar to the one that we just saw like the battery so if this one is on and you put a meter you see like uh, the progress of the charge so this one is good to clean your phone okay the other one and uh, the last one that I use on my Blackberry at least once a day is the booster so I boost my battery because of this app this is very good this one sorry this one is called clean master 2018 and you will find it on the amazon store so once you boost your um battery phone with this one your phone will go faster and your apps they crash less often uh, as we uh, also mentioned in another on my video see and uh, that's it, it's very simple, very, very, uh, very straightforward. So that's what you need to do in order to, um, you know, have a, like a, a better life performance and take care of your battery and monitor the charging and if you do it right. Now, the very good tips at this point after that, that I want to give you guys are basically three, because this is not enough to have a, a long life battery. Because as you see, can see, my phone right now is 60%. And I charged my phone 100% like a four hours ago. So I would say in five hours, your phone is 50%. In 10 hours, your phone is dead. So what I need to do to perform like a dead battery? The first thing that you want to do is to use as much as possible Wi-Fi when you have available. So turn it on your mobile data when you have a Wi-Fi, because the data service will drain your battery. So, but if you use your Wi-Fi instead, it's gonna uh, take less energy. So you're gonna have a still like a great connection, depends on what is like a, the internet speed that you have, but shut down if it's possible your, um, your mobile data. So when you are around, of course, you need your mobile data to, um, you know, check uh, something on the, on the web or just use the map. But if you don't, just leave your phone like a, in a, like a, a phone re a reception. So you just receive a calls. So just leave your phone on a, the mobile network, you can text, you can call, no problem. And if you wanna test this, I tested for two days, even over two days. My phone, it was able to hold from 100 and then it dropped to 20% in 48 hours, which is great, a two, two days phone like no internet, like they just go randomly like on some, some music and watching some uh, offline video and just use basically the phone in conversation and text. Today's phone, shut it down at night and just go back in the morning. The phone, it was like a, a give me like a two days, I still have 20%. And you can also do like a, almost over the day with 20% when you don't have internet. So the passport battery, I would say, if you don't have a data at all, you don't use it. Beside like uh, some calls and a uh, text, you can do almost three days, which is a great thing. So when you're in vacation, you don't need to like, you know, just play with internet stuff. You need your phone for emergency, for necessity. You know, a real need on the phone actually is a call and text. So uh, in these days, like a phone for us is like, a, the last thing that you do with the phone is like a make a call and text because you go on WhatsApp, you go on Facebook, you go on Instagram. And even like a texting is not like a, the main method that we use to communicate anymore. It's like an alternative. Sometimes people call me through Facebook, through WhatsApp. I say, why you just don't call me normal, you know? I have a phone number. <laughs> you just call me, you just text me. And people in this day, they are so into much um, social that they just use that. So text and calls, three days phone, no problem. The second app, um, app, um, method that I want to talk about is like a, 
try to put your phone in a dark mode as much as possible. Um, as you see guys, I have a, like a very dark like a background because as much as colorful your background, the more it drains your battery. Also, my uh, web browser is in a dark mode because the more it's brighter, white it takes all the pixel activated, so it drains your battery. As much you can have a, like a black background on your internet, your WhatsApp, your Facebook, whenever it is possible to select the dark mode, I suggest you guys do it because otherwise the brighter the less battery. Of course it's nice to see white and bright screen but I suggest you guys to put it in a dark mode as much up as possible you have on your passport because always you guys remember you have a um, between like a, the Blackberry passport official up up and the Android a lack of support so the battery drain a lot because the phone is always in background and work like to make them like a stable and this is energy so try to have a, as much as possible in, in a dark mode and that's like something that I think is doable uh, the other thing that also uh, I want to uh, share with you guys is a call it app manager you will find it on settings Then you go down on app manager and device monitor. Now, this one is a native app uh, on your uh, passport. And basically what it does, it tell you how much battery each app drain. As you can see, of course, you see the browser, the internet is one of the, the, the critical point because that's the thing that drains the battery. So you can check that and you can figure out what's going on with your phone and then you can maybe adjust your usage and say, okay, so if I use a little less internet, even, even if the internet is on, I know that browser, it takes so much energy. And in that way you can kind of like save the, um, the battery. Some apps, they work also on the background. So I left this one just for purpose videos, uh, this video specifically to show you guys what you guys need to do. So when you go here, so you go on uh, mobile data, so you have all the app on your phone here. If you open the app, you're gonna see at the bottom, they say change app permission. And as you say, as you can read it, they say like to help improve battery life, you can turn off the run when minimize permission for this app, which means it's gonna, save the battery so if i do that and i'll change it so i'm gonna shut down the running or kiwi browser on the background and it's great because i have all my battery they don't run when minimize it and my battery life i bump at least 30 percent i'm telling you so this one i'm gonna shut down you guys gonna do this for all your app that you have on your phone, all of them. I suggest to do all of them. Of course, some of those they don't have that, but most of them they require like a minimize run. You just shut down the minimize run and you improve the life of your phone. So once you follow these tips, uh, I will tell you guys, you're gonna have your phone going through the day, no problem. You charge in the morning or at night 100%, turn it on in the morning, you go through all the day, you go back home and you have 20-30% of battery, no problem, even more. Just be careful to shut down internet when you don't need it. Um, and of course, when you're outside and you're doing something and you need internet, of course, uh, turn it on again. Use, was, uh, use a Wi-Fi instead of... Uh, your mobile data where it's possible because it drains less battery um, use your phone in a dark mode as much as possible with all your apps and shut down all the run on the background apps and minimize it so you're gonna have like way more uh, battery life so basically that's what I find out uh, in this last month of study 
because the battery was like uh, one of the main issues that I they went through because you know like a, a looking for video on YouTube and then trying to improve my passport as like oh wow already my phone is like 40% it's been like only like a three four hours and then you know I was hungry that was going on so all of these tips they improve at least 30% more the performance the performance of my uh, Blackberry uh, passport life battery life sorry um, and that's what I suggest you two guys to have so those three apps the battery the cleaner and the clean master so clean your phone twice a day with a cleaner sorry with a cleaner twice a day at least morning and, and night and that's what I do especially like when I go back and forth with the internet and, and to improve like uh, internet stability this one is essential Monitor your battery always when you plug it with the, the battery and boost it once a day with the, uh, with the cleaner. And your, your battery is going to be good. It's not going to be afflicted much from the lack of support at this point because it's going to be optimized. But at the same time, if you guys shut down internet as much as possible, use, use the phone in offline mode, I would say, it will improve the life for your phone. So those are the tips about uh, improving your uh, Blackberry Passport uh, battery. I hope you guys enjoy the video and you find it useful. And as I always say, like uh, I'm not an expert, I'm just a, a simple guy that love so much this phone and is trying to uh, use uh, YouTube for uh, education myself and other people purposes because it's nice that we can uh, help each other uh, with what uh, we discover every day. You know, like uh, I have some people that actually I want to thank to contact me uh, through WhatsApp or through uh, BBM because we chat uh, a little about like uh, some uh, solution for the passport. And uh, I think this is great because you make friends, you share knowledge, you help someone and uh, save money uh, you know, people save money because they don't get the much frustrated anymore with the phone because somebody else suggests, hey, you know what, you can do this instead of that and then this is going to work just fine. And then you're going to love your phone better because, let's be honest, yes, the phone is great. There is a, a beautiful uh, screen ratio, have an amazing uh, design and the, the keyboard is like the best, in my opinion, ever made after Nokia phone. But uh, if it doesn't work properly, especially for basic, I want not want to say, because we know the passport is not like a for like a, a selfie or like a too much in social. It's essential for, for business and communication. So for that, it's unbeatable. There's no such a thing on the market in the last five, six years they can uh, like reach the level of the BlackBerry passport. Uh, in my opinion, the Nokia Communicator at the time they were like uh, the best, they're still the best, but of course they don't have that much support anymore and Symbian is dead, but BlackBerry is still kind of alive, alive. so some, some, we can do a lot of things and uh, once you know to, uh, how to optimize your BlackBerry passport, I don't see any reason to switch phone because so many people say like, uh, okay, so we're going to do 2022 because you know um, the, the years go by and then the passport is gonna be six, seven years, eight years, nine, eight, nine years, ten years I don't really care because look I, guys my favorite phone is a Nokia and I still use it as a second phone and I don't mind I don't mind because I'm a kind of a simple guy like old-fashioned when I need to talk to someone I call them and I send a message I don't need like the much of Facebook and all this uh, social to communicate like uh, in a normal human way you know so your blackberry it will be your companion i would say like uh, for as much as long you want for me it can be i don't want to say forever but why not because once i have uh, like a uh, this screen like that and the keyboard like that i don't need more than that it's a phone and it give me like whatever i need so Anyway, besides all like uh, the appreciation, the love that I have for this specific model of BlackBerry, I wish you guys the best, stay safe, 
and uh, thank you so much for watching this other video uh, see you next time bye